All right, last video, just a few odds and ends that don't really require a whole video to themselves, but we'll go over some just some more just tiny functionality here. When you first start up ZBrush, probably you're going to have the matte cap red wax on your objects here. If there's another material you like in here that you want to start up with every time, if you're a big fan of the green metallic or myself, I like the matte cap gray. If you want to use this material every time you start up ZBrush, just select that material, then go down here to this bottom and say save as startup material. And then I'll go ahead and store that startup material as the one that shows up first when you start up ZBrush. Another thing we can talk about is the quick saves. So if you hit the comma key here, your quick saves will all be saved in here. If you go in here to preferences, quick save, you can change your maximum quick save file. So if you want to save all the way up to 100, you can do that. Now, if you change anything in here, make sure you go to preferences, config, store config to go ahead and save those. And you can also come in here and say how long you can be working in ZBrush before it does an auto save and then how long when you walk away from ZBrush or browse the internet when a new quick save will kick in. Your quick save location, if you click on any one of these files, you're gonna see it, go, it goes to uh, C, Users, Public, Documents, ZBrush Data 2018 quick save. So if you navigate to that area on your computer and you go to the quick save folder, you're gonna see here's all your quick saves. You also have recovered files in here. So if you wanna go ahead and get rid of those, you can just go ahead and delete those recovered files. This is when ZBrush crashes, it'll go and do these recovered files. If you want to update this window, just hit the comma key and then hit the comma key again and then those recovered files are gone. Now, if you want to change the path of where these quick saves go, right now they're going to my C drive. If we go up one folder, the ZBrush Data 2018, you're going to see we have, not only do we have a ZBrush scratch disk path, we also have a quick save path. So if you double click that, you can dictate where ZBrush saves these quick saves if you want to put them on a different hard drive. Another feature is OBJ color. So let's take this mousse right here and just really quickly, let's go to our standard brush, turn on RGB, turn off Z-Add, and I'm just going to paint some poly paint color on this mousse here. And you know what? We're even going to go through here. We're going to hold down control and we're going to mask some areas. So now if I go over here to export, and we'll just go ahead and export this as mousse head OBJ. And go out of edit mode, hit control N to clear my canvas. We're going to switch over to Polymesh 3D here or just go to the simple brush. Let's go to import, import that moose head. And now when we import this OBJ, you're going to see not only did it retain my poly paint information, my vertex color information, it retained my mask information. It'll go ahead and turn on colorize for you as well. So this is new functionality for OBJs. FBX already had that built in. So if you go to Z plugin over here and you go over here to your FBX export and import, when you import an, uh, import an FBX, it'll go ahead and import your poly paint as well and export that. And now OBJs can do this too.